गुड इवनिंग श्रीयता गुड इवनिंग मा गुड इवनिंग सर रेड हाला अल्किन साला रेंज चैप्टर गुड इवनिंग रिपीट सर सो यू रीड यू रीड हाला अल्किन साला रेंज चैप्टर यस सर अ लिटिल बिट सो यस्टरडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द हाला अल्किन साला रेंज ना दैट्स व्हाई आई एम आस्किंग हालोजन कंटेनिंग कंपाउंड्स Are you prepared or not? Just I'm asking. Yes, sir. I just uh, revised through the textbook about what we learned last class. Hmm. Okay. So then we can check it out. We can go for here chemical properties. We can go for here chemical properties. Okay. <clears throat> chemical properties of the allo alkenes and allo arenes chemical properties what are the chemical properties of the allo alkenes and allo arenes means here no, actually allo alkenes and allo arenes are they undergoes to the nucleophilic substitution reaction first one is here they undergoes to the nucleophilic substitution reaction substitution reaction okay another one is the undergoes to the reduction reaction the undergoes to the reduction reaction and third one is they reacts with metals they reacts with metals okay so all these are the different reactions we are having here okay and in this one halo arenes are it undergoes to the electrophilic substitution reaction okay so halo arenes are it undergoes to the electrophilic substitution reaction halo arenes are undergoes to substitution reaction substitution reaction allo arenes are it undergoes to the substitution reaction okay now these are the different reactions we are going to discuss on the response out here okay now in this one first one is nucleophilic substitution reaction allo alkenes and allo arenes are they undergoes to the nucleophilic substitution reaction okay so if you compare with the allo alkenes allo al arenes so which are more reactive towards to the nucleophilic substitution reaction means halo alkenes are more reactive towards to the nucleophilic substitution reaction while comparing with the halo arenes so which are more reactive ma halo alkenes are more reactive than that of the halo arenes so why the halo alkenes are more reactive means here r x bond it is there in halo arenes on benzene ring we have x it is there on benzene ring okay on benzene ring we have x in this one on x x is nothing but halogen so each halogen atom it contains the three lone pair of electron so that three lone pair of electrons are involved in a resonance whenever it undergoes to the resonance means it forms as a partial double bond between the carbon and halogen okay now so one second clearly i'll explain the uh, resonance structures here only ma here so because of anyway i had to explain to electrophilic substitution reactions also now here only we can write as a resonance structures now let us see chlorobenzene i am taking chlorobenzene so this one is called as here chlorobenzene now on chlorobenzene we have a three lone pair of electrons how many lone pair of electrons are there three lone pair of electrons are there so when this pi electrons are shifted on this carbon this carbon get as a negative charge that time this carbon get as a positive charge okay while having the positive charge this chlorine is donating the two lone pair of electrons to this one then only it forms as a partial 
double bond between the chlorine and carbon partial double bond between chlorine and carbon it has a cl plus and it is having negative charge it is having here negative charge okay now okay and when this pi electrons are again one so negative charge is present on ortho position so you know what is the ortho meta para position which we can call as ortho position my one two position is called as a ortho and one three position is called as a meta position and one four position is called as a para position so one four position is called as here para position okay so when this pi electrons are shifted on these carbon atom this carbon get as a negative charge and this carbon get as a positive charge again so while forming the positive and negative in between the positive and negative carbon atoms we can form as a one more double bond okay and here also cl plus and here we having the negative charge it is also form as a double bond okay and when this pi electrons are shifted on this carbon atom okay so when this pi electrons are shifted on this carbon atom also this carbon get as a negative charge and this carbon get as a positive charge positive charge then it forms here partial double bond here also partial double bond here double bond cl plus it is there here we having the negative charge again when this pi electrons are shifted on the chlorine then you will get as a positive charge and you will get as a one more structure one more structure okay double bond double bond double bond cl now you can check it out man. negative charge electron density is present at ortho and para position at the same time in under the resonance structure in between the chlorine and carbon we have a double bond okay now here carbon and uh, carbon halogen we have a single bond in halo alkanes and in halo arenes we have a double bond between the carbon and chlorine so which one easily we can break ma either single bond or double bond which one easily we can break the bond single bond single bond so by using the less amount of energy only we can break the bond here that's why halo alkanes are more reactive while comparing with the halo arenes so now we got the clarity here okay yes, so why sir. the halo alkanes are more reactive means here because of there is a single bond and halo arenes are having the partial double bond between the so carbon and chlorine atom in a benzene ring okay now so what are the nucleophilic substitution reactions we are having nucleophilic substitution reactions what are the nucleophilic substitution reactions we are having means one to one first i'm taking as a ethyl chloride which one i'm taking my here i'm taking as a ethyl chloride the molecular formula of ethyl chloride is ch3 bond ch2 cl okay you can take as a ch3 cl and if you take the nucleophilic so what is the reactivity order of the nucleophilic substitution reaction okay which alkyl halide is more reactive towards the nucleophilic substitution reaction means alkyl iodide is more reactive than alkyl bromide alkyl bromide is more reactive than alkyl chloride alkyl chloride is more reactive than that of the alkyl chloride sir have you are telling that alkyl iodide is more reactive means greater the bond length lesser the bond energy so bond length is more means bond length and bond energy is inversely proportional if the bond length is going to be increases means bond energy is going to be decreases so due to that reason only alkyl iodide is more reactive okay alkyl which one is more reactive ma alkyl iodide is more reactive than that of the alkyl bromide alkyl chloride and alkyl chloride now you understand okay yes sir. Now first i'm taking as a so ethyl chloride if the ethyl chloride is treated with aqueous koh aqueous koh if it is treated with the aqueous koh means it forms as a cl is replaced by the oh that means it forms as an alcohol ch3 bond ch2 bond oh is going to be formed okay ch3 ch2 oh is going to be formed okay now in this one if it is treated with moisture 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 is treated with here moisture silver oxide if it is treated with the moisture silver oxide means it for it is also form as a alcohol okay it forms as a ch3 bond ch2 bond oh is going to be formed 
Okay, so if it is treated with here, moisture silver oxide also it forms as here ethyl alcohol. Okay, now sir, so what is the other methods we are having means here in this one? Here, yeah, I'll give the difference between the alcoholic KOH and aqueous KOH. Same reagent, same reactant. If it is treated with alcoholic KOH, if it is treated with alcoholic KOH, alcoholic KOH is stacked as a dehydro halogenating agent. Alcoholic KOH is stacked as here dehydro halogenating agent. Whenever it acts as a dehydro halogenating agent, it forms as an alkene CH2 double bond. CH2. Now we got the clarity the difference between the aqueous KOH and alcoholic KOH. Aqueous yes, KOH is involves in a nucleophilic substitution reaction. Alcoholic KOH is attacked as a dehydrohalogenating agent. Okay. Clear? Right, ma. Other reactions. If it is treated with potassium cyanide, if it is treated with the potassium cyanide, means it forms as an ethyl cyanide. CH3 bond, CH2 bond, CN. Okay, it forms as a ethyl cyanide. Other, if it is treated with silver cyanide, AgCN, if it is treated with the AgCN, if it is treated with the AgCN means it forms as a ethyl isocyanide is going to be formed. Sir, you may get the doubt. Sir, both are cyanides only, na, but one side it forms as a cyanide and another one it forms as a isocyanide. Isocyanide. Sir, how it is formed as isocyanide means in this one, KCN is attacked as an ionic compound. KCN forms here, ionic compound. Okay. AGCN is covalent compound. Covalent compound. Okay. AGCN is here, covalent compound. If it is covalent compound means, so bond is the carbon is attached with the more electronegative atom. If you compare with the carbon and nitrogen, which one is more electronegative atom? Ma? The carbon and nitrogen, which one is more electronegative atom? Nitrogen. Okay. So that's why alkyl group is going to be attached to the nitrogen, then it forms as a isocyanide. Okay. And it is treated with potassium nitride KNO2. Okay. If it is treated with the KNO2, means it forms as a ethyl nitride CH3. Bond CH2 bond NO2. This we can call as a ethyl nitride. Ethyl nitride. Same one. If it is treated with AgNO3, AgNO2, silver nitride. If it is treated with the silver nitride, it forms as a nitroalkane, nitroethane. CH3 bond, CH2 bond, O bond, N double bond. O. This we can call as a nitroethane. So now we've got the clarity. So all these are the different reactions. And this one also we can treat it with ammonia also. This also. Alkyl halides are treated with ammonia. Same we are same reaction we are using in the preparation of ammonia. Okay. So. When the alkyl halide is treated with ammonia. So when the alkyl halide is treated with ammonia means what is the product it is going to be formed? Same reaction we are seeing. Preparation of amine salts. Achman bromide ammonolysis reaction. Okay. The reaction also we can call as here. Achman bromide ammonolysis reaction. Okay. Sir, how we are going to do means here. If the ethyl chloride is treated with ammonia, it forms as a ethanamine. Cl is replaced by CH3 bond, CH2 bond, and H2 plus HCl. CH3 bond, CH2 bond, and H2 plus HCl is going to be formed. Okay? Clear? Yes. Now, this forms as a primary amine. This forms as here, primary amine. Okay? So, again, we have a, some other reactions also. So what are the other reactions we are having means here? So SN1 reaction and SN2 reaction. SN2 reaction. So we already discussed about the SN1, SN2 reaction. Na? Where we discuss about the SN1, SN2 reactions in types of reactions. Did you remember? Sri Yuta. 
Yes, sir. Here we discussed. Okay. In SN1, SN2 reaction only, some concepts are there. Any important points only, this time going to be revised. Ma. In SN1, SN2 reaction, what is the reactivity order? Which alkyl halide is more reactive? Tertiary alkyl halide is more reactive than secondary. Secondary is more reactive than primary. So before that, before the tertiary also we have benzyl halide. Benzyl halide is more reactive. After that, allyl halide. Allyl halide. Okay. So in this one, SN1 reaction is going to be completed. So two steps. How many steps, ma? SN1 reaction is going to be completed in two, two steps. Okay. In this one, what is the reaction intermediate? So reaction intermediate. Reaction intermediate is carbocation. Carbocation. Reaction intermediate is carbocation. Okay. Now, sir, here only, what is the final product it forms? Means here, racemic mixture. Racemic mixture is the final product. In SN2, if you see the SN2 reaction mechanism. So what is the reaction mechanism means here? In this one, what is the reactivity order? So which one is more reactive means here? Methyl halide. After that, primary. After that, secondary. After that, tertiary. Okay? In this one also. The reaction is going to be completed only one step. Okay? The reaction is going to be completed in how many steps means? The reaction is going to be completed in only one step. Okay. And in this one, we don't have any reaction intermediate. Okay. So finally, it forms as a product. Okay. The reaction is going to be completed in a single step. And finally, it forms as a product. So what is the stereochemistry of the product means here? In SN2 reaction, you will get as an inversion product. So you get as here, inversion product. Okay. And which solvents are they favors the SN2 reaction? Reaction means here, polar aprotic solvents. Polar aprotic solvents. So polar aprotic solvents are they favors the SN2 reaction mechanism. Okay. So another one is here polar protic solvents. Polar protic solvents are the favors SN1 reaction mechanism. Sir, what are the examples of the polar aprotic solvents? Means here DMFO. DMFO is nothing but dimethylformamide. Okay. And DMF, um, dimethyl SO, dimethyl sulfoxide. Along with that one, carbon disulfide, carbon tetrachloride, higher alcohols, higher ethers. Here. The substance which does not release is the H plus ion. So those we can call as a polar aprotic solvent. Which we can call as a polar protic solvent means which releases the H plus ions is called as a polar protic solvent. Okay, so all these are the different types of the reactions. Right, ma? In this only, what is another one important concept means elimination reaction. Already we had seen. Under the elimination reaction, so where we had seen in the preparation of the alkenes. In the preparation of the alkenes, so our preparation of the alkenes is example of the beta elimination reaction. Preparation of the alkenes is example of your beta elimination reaction. Okay, so we have a E1, E2. So even E2 also they, fall, they look like as a SN1 reaction and SN2 reaction mechanism only. But what is the common factor? What is the common factor in even E2 elimination reaction means reactivity order. Even in even elimination reaction and E2 elimination reaction, which alkyl halide is more reactive means tertiary alkyl halide is more reactive than secondary. Secondary is more reactive than primary. Reactivity order is same. Okay, but in SN1, SN2, we had taken as a different reactivity order. Okay, but in an even E2 elimination reaction, reactivity order is same in the both the reactions. Now we got the clarity. Yes, sir. Okay, right. Now, so what is the other reactions we are having is SN1, SN2, even E2 is finished and some substitution reactions are finished and reduction reactions part. Okay, reduction reactions. Here, reduction reactions means ethyl chloride, CH3 bond, CH2 bond CL. If it is reduced with the lithium aluminum hydride, if it is reduced with the lithium aluminum hydride, means it is converted into ethane only, CH3 bond, CH3. 
okay so this is the reduction reaction okay next what we can use means here and next reaction with metals reaction with metals so reaction with metals already we had seen in the preparation of where we had seen means here we had seen in the preparation of alkanes did you remember wurzu reaction wurzu fitting reaction okay we had seen as a wurzu reaction ori house synthesis frankland reaction also we had seen did you remember or not what is the wurzu reaction when two moles of the alkyl halide two moles of the methyl chloride if two moles of the methyl chloride is reacts with sodium metal in presence of dry ether in presence of dry ether means it forms as a symmetrical alkanes that means ch3 bond ch3 is going to be formed so similarly this one only it is treated with cori house synthesis ma cori house synthesis means we can prepare as unsymmetrical alkanes that means ch3 bond ch2 cl and methyl chloride so finally what is the product you will get as here propane you are getting as here ch3 bond ch2 bond ch3 okay and frankland reaction if two moles of the methyl chloride is treated with the zinc metal it forms as a ethane ch3 bond ch3 plus zn cl2 okay so all these are the different reactions we have here then one more point a very very important exam point of view question my dear so i told that halo arenes are okay halo arenes are less reactive towards to the nucleophilic substitution reaction okay so halo arenes are less reactive halo arenes are less reactive towards to towards nucleophilic substitution reaction towards nucleophilic substitution reaction substitution reaction allo arenes are less reactive towards to the nucleophilic substitution reaction but number of electron withdrawing groups are increases number of electron withdrawing groups are increases number of electron withdrawing groups are increases reactivity also is going to be increases reactivity increases so one question it is that so what is the question means here let us see ma now i am taking as a chlorobenzene first look as a chlorobenzene another one is ortho nitro chlorobenzene ortho nitro chlorobenzene next what is another one i had taken means here dinitro 2 comma 4 dinitro chlorobenzene and i am taking as a 2 comma 4 comma 6 trinitro chlorobenzene 2 comma 4 comma 6 trinitro chlorobenzene 2 comma 4 comma 6 trinitro chlorobenzene if 2 comma 4 comma 6 trinitro benzene ma so which one is more reactive what is the reactivity order from chlorobenzene to 2 comma 4 comma 6 trinitro chlorobenzene from chlorobenzene to 2 comma 4 comma 6 trinitro chlorobenzene the reactivity is going to be increases or decreases to eta statement is on that clearly what is the statement number of electron withdrawing groups are increases reactivity also is going to be increases nitro group is the electron with drawing group or electron donating group ma sriyuta is nitro group is electron with drawing group or electron donating group uh, electron with drawing so what is the statement i had given the number of electron with drawing groups are increases means reactivity also is going to be increases na So according yes, to that one, which one is more reactive? Which one is more reactive? This is the previous year exam. That's why I'm asking. Previous year question. Fourth one is 
more reactive towards the nucleophilic substitution reaction. Okay. So in this one. Okay. So what is the another one means here? So generally, haloerenes. That means chlorobenzene. Chlorobenzene. But not only chlorobenzene, but all I'll write as a common reaction here. Electrophilic. Electrophilic substitution reaction. Substitution reaction. Okay. For all common one and right here. So we have a different concepts now. What are the different concepts we are having that all I'm going to be right here only. So first of all, toline. Toline. Man. So toline also it involves in an electrophilic substitution reaction. Point number one. Okay. And haloerenes. Haloerenes also it undergoes to the electrophilic substitution reaction. Phenols also it undergoes to the electrophilic substitution reaction. Okay. And ethers and isol we can call OCH3. If the OCH3 group is present on the benzene ring with that we can call as a anisole. Okay. So anisole also it is there here. Now first and aniline. Aniline. Aniline means here NH2. Okay. On nitrogen we have a electron donating group. First of all my question is that on benzene ring one is the methyl group is there. Halogens are there. OH groups are there, OCH3 and NH2. All are electron donating groups or electron withdrawing groups. Pa. All are electron donating groups or electron withdrawing groups. Electron donating. Very good. Pa. All are electron donating groups only. Okay. So when our electron donating groups are present on the benzene ring, electrophilic substitution reaction will take place at ortho and para position okay electrophilic substitution reaction will takes place at ortho and para position okay in this one ma which one is the major product means here para one is the major product which one is major product here para one is the major product have we got the clarity yes sir okay now ma let us see in this one First, I'm writing as a one example. Okay. In place of X, I'm writing. Let's see what are the chapters we are studying in this concept means here. We are studying as a haloerenes. Phenols, one, one, one concept it is that. Did you remember? Where you will get as a phenols means alcohols, phenols, ethers you will get. Okay. There I'm not, I'm going to be sk skip this reactions one. And under the ethers, we are going to study about the anisole. Under the aniline, amines chapter, we are going to study under the Aniline. All are they exhibit as a common reaction. Totally. Okay. Let's see. So that's why in case of that one, I wrote as a X. X is nothing but a methyl group, phenol group, OH33 and NH2 also. Okay. Now, here, in this also, sometimes they're asking the one question. Which one is more reactive towards the electrophilic substitution reaction? That is my question. Previous year question. One, two, three, Four, five. Which one is more reactive towards to the nucleophilic substitution reaction? Why are that? My answer is four, three, two, five. And one, four, three, two, five, one. Sir, how you are telling that means here, OCH3 group is strong electron donating group. So because of it has here, two lone pair of electrons. How many lone pair of electrons are there? Two lone pair of electrons are there. At the same time, one methyl, methyl group also electron donating group is there. So that's why four is more reactive. After that, phenol. Then 
sir why the chlorine also it is having three lone pair of electrons means here actually chlorine is attacked as a minus i group in a, in this one okay due to the presence of the lone pair of electrons it acts as here plus i epi <laughs> that's why it is less reactive okay now what are the reactions we are going to be study under this concept means here we are going to study about here halogenation reaction first of all that means cl2 okay cl2 in presence of fecl3 in this one fecl3 stacked as a catalyst whenever it acts as a catalyst means here chlorine is going to be substituted at ortho position and para position okay plus and another one is forms as here para position okay so in this one para position one is here major product okay next nitration reaction it is there what is mean by the nitration what is mean by the nitration so which we can call as a nitration mixture so nitration mixture is nothing but concentrated hno3 and we can call as a concentrated sulfuric acid the mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid is called as a nitration mixture okay in this one so nitric acid it act as a base and sulfuric acid is it act as a acid in this one it act as a acid and in this one it act as a base sir what is the electrophile in this one means no2 group what is electrophile means here no2 group so no2 group is going to be substituted at ortho position or no2 group is going to be substituted at para position so this we can get as a product okay next so sulfonation reaction sulfonation reaction so what is mean the sulfonation reaction means so reaction with concentrated sulfuric acid so reaction with the concentrated sulfuric acid it forms x so ortho sulfonic acid so3h plus and x bond so3h is the product so this is the some products it is going to be formed and another one friedel craft alkylation reaction and acylation reaction is there so what is mean the friedel craft alkylation reaction means when the chlorobenzene or toluene r reacts with methyl chloride in presence of alcl3 it forms as a ortho substituted ortho methyl product okay and or it forms as a para methyl product is going to be formed okay if it is treated with acetyl chloride treated with acetyl chloride so what is the molecular form of acetyl chloride means here ch3 bond c double bond o cl in presence of al cl3 in place of this one also we can take as st can hydride ch3 bond c double bond o taken twice o okay if you take any one also it forms as a acetyl group is going to be substituted at ortho position c double bond o ch3 plus r it forms as a another product ch3 c double bond o ch3 sir so these two reactions cannot be exhibited by the amines amines does not does not reacts with does not undergoes to the friedel craft reaction does not undergoes to friedel craft friedel craft friedel craft alkylation alkylation and acylation reactions acylation reactions so why the amines are it does not undergoes to the friedel craft alkylation reaction and acylation reaction means here that is sima in this one first of all if you observe the clearly means here alcl3 is it act as a lewis acid alcl3 it act as here lewis acid so generally amines are act as a lewis base I mean, sir, they act as here, Lewis base. So when the acid and base are they react together, means they form as a salt only, na? They form as a salt. So due to that reason only, I mean, sir, they does not involves in a 
So Friedel-Craft alkylation reaction and Friedel-Craft acylation reaction. But remaining are they are going to be involved. You may get the doubt. Sir, if it is due to the presence of the lone pair of electrons, amines are it act as a basis means anisole and phenols also they act as a Lewis basis only. Na? Then how we are going, how they are going to be involved in electrophilic substitution reaction means, of course, if one lone pair of electrons are involved in the formation of the bond with the ALCL3, but they have a one more electron pair now. They're having one more lone pair of electron. Due to the presence of the one more lone pair of electron, they involves in a electrophilic substitution reaction. They increases the electron density at ortho and para position. Now we got the clarity marks for you, Yes, sir. Okay, all exception. What are the exam point of view are there? Everything, all chapters we covered here. Okay. This is a common statement. Sir, here only one more statement it is there. Sir, for electron donating group, the substitution will take place at ortho and para position. And what about, okay, so then what about electron withdrawing groups? Okay, if it is having electron withdrawing group means, then substitution will take place at which position, ma? Srita? Here only I will complete, ma. What are the examples of electron withdrawing groups products here? form as only single product. For example, electron withdrawing groups means here, one is aldehyde, benzaldehyde, CHO, another one is acetophenone, another one is here, acetophenone, CHC double bond O, CH3, and carboxylic acid, carboxylic acid, CO, OH, benzoic acid, okay. And amides also, benzamides also. Benzamides also, C double bond O bond NH2. Right, ma? Now, if you check it out, all are they contain the electron withdrawing group. If the electron withdrawing group is present on benzene ring, means electrophilic substitution reaction takes place at meta position. Okay, as it is, you can write same reactions. What are the reactions are we are having means here? All reactions we can take here. Electron with drawing group. Due to the presence of the electron with drawing group, nitro also we can take ma. Nitro benzene, cyano benzene also. Nitro benzene also it is the electron with the drawing group only. Cyano group also it is the electron with the drawing group. Okay. okay. Now if you take the nitration reaction, nitration reaction is nothing but concentrated HNO3 and concentrated sulfuric acid. That means nitro group is going to be substituted at meta position. E W G and X. In nitration reaction, what is the electron withdrawing group means here? NO2. Sulfonation reaction. In sulfonation reaction, what is the electrophile means? SO3H is going to be substituted on benzene ring. Okay. And Predelcraft alkylation reaction. What is the electrophile means? CH3 plus. And Predelcraft acylation reaction. What is the electrophile means here? C double bond O CH3. All these groups are substituted at here meta position. So whenever the electron withdrawing groups are present on the benzene ring, electrophilic substitution reaction will take place at meta position. Now we got the clarity, Sri Yuta? Yes, sir. Okay, so all these are the different important points we are having here. After that, polyhalogen compounds are there. Under the polyhalogen compounds we are going to study about here. So three important points are there, exam point of view. Only three important points. So one is Carbon tetrachloride, uses only CCl4, carbon tetrachloride. Sir, carbon tetrachloride is used as a solvent. At the same time, carbon, carbon tetrachloride is used as a fire extinguisher in the name of pyrene. In the name of pyrene. They used as here, so pyrene, fire extinguisher. Okay, carbon tetrachloride is used as a fire extinguisher in the name of here, pyrene. Okay, and carbon tetrachloride is used as a solvent in the organic chemistry. At the same time, it is used in uh, dry cleaning process also. Okay, to remove the oil marks and at all. At the same time, one more also it is the DDT. What is mean with the DDT? DDT. CCL3 bond. 
structure I'm writing now here. What is meant by the DDT? Have you listened the name of the DDT? Yes, sir. Okay. So DDT is used as a insecticide marker. Okay. It is used as here in insecticide, insecticide. Okay. So actually in long back in 1990s, we have so many malaria cases. To reduce the malaria cases, they used to spray, sir, they used to spray the DDT solution. But so DDT, what is the full abbreviation of the DDT means here? Dichloro, diphenyl, trichloroethane. Okay. Para, para, dichloro, diphenyl, trichloroethane. That we can call as a DDT. Okay. That we can call as a DDT. Okay. So DDT is used as an insecticide. And at the same time, it is used as a pesticide also. Okay. It is used as a pesticide or insecticide marker. Okay, so to kill the mosquitoes under control, they used to use as a DDT. Clear? So, but throughout worldwide, nowadays it is banned. Okay, nowadays it is banned. Sir, why it is banned means here, why not they are spraying the DDT? So, DDT is stored in a fish liver. Okay, DDT is stored in a fish liver. Whenever we are taking the fish, actually we are the humans, we used to like as a, so fish only now. So, whenever you are having the fish, that it is not metabolized in the human body. Okay. And finally, it causes us the liver cancer. It damages the liver. So, due to that reason only, it is banned throughout the world. What it, ma? Yes, sir. And one more point. It is the chlorofluorocarbons, freons. What is with the freons, which we can call as freons? Freons are nothing but chlorofluorocarbon. What is the disadvantage of the chlorofluorocarbons? What is the disadvantage of the chlorofluorocarbons, ma? Last point, finished ma. Freons we can call. What is the disadvantage? AC is there at your home? Yes, sir. Ma, if the they consumption of the ozone. Very good, ma. They deplete the ozone layer. Okay. If the ozone layer is depleted, means what happened? Uh, more UV radiation. More radiation, it will be more. At the same time, we used to get as a skin cancer. Sir, how we used to get as a skin cancer means here, if the ozone layer is depleted, if it is depleted, means UV rays are directly fall on the skin. Okay. So when it is fall on the skin, means it causes as a skin cancer. So that is the, some important points of the haloalkanes and haloarenes. So this is about the haloalkanes and haloarenes. Okay. Okay, sir. So tomorrow we'll start the new chapter. Alcohols, phenols, ethers also we'll start. Okay? Right, ma'am. We'll okay, continue sir. tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're welcome.